Okay, first thing for the arterial blood draw, I would make sure that I check the patient's chart before entering the room, ensuring that the doctor has put it in order, and I have the right um, room number and patient name. And so I'll go ahead and enter the patient's room, introduce myself, I'm Kate with Respiratory Care. Um, the, the doctor has ordered for you today a um, for us to get a arterial blood um, sample. So it's a little bit different than what the nurses will draw blood. What I need to do is just check if you have good collateral return in your radial artery in your wrist. And um, if so, then we could go ahead and use that the radial artery and collect some a blood sample so we can analyze the oxygen levels in your blood. Okay, so if the patient agrees to that, I'll go ahead and wash my hands, put on some gloves, perform the Allen's test on the patient to ensure the collateral return. Um, I already brought in an ABG kit with me. I'm going to take the patient's temperature, fill out my patient label, name, um, temperature, room number, date, and go ahead and stick it on my um, biohazard bag already. So I have everything prepped and ready. I have the patient's arm here on a towel so I don't have any, um, the artery doesn't roll away from me. I put the gauze here right next to me, alcohol, bandage, and needle. So. Um, now all that I have everything prepped and ready, I'm going to make sure I have our pulsate for the um, palpate for the radial artery, and I have my alcohol wipe. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that, making sure that it dries. Um, now I have my syringe here. I'm going to take the cap off the needle and pull back my syringe to 1.5 milliliters. I'm going to make sure that the bevel is facing upward, and I'm keeping the needle um, away from me. Now, um, Mr. Skellington, I'm going to go ahead and inject the needle and the count of three, okay? I'm holding it like a pencil, and I'm going to go ahead and inject at a 45 degree angle. One, two, and three. All right, now that I have the needle in there, it's filling up with blood, um, making sure that it fills up. I get at least 0.5 milliliters. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull back, holding down pressure onto the artery, keeping the needle away from me. I'm going to go ahead and cork the needle. After I've held it down for, or held down the artery for about three to five minutes, I'm going to put the bandage on, and I'll go ahead and collect my sample here. I'm going to uh, cap it, look at my sample, make sure there's no air bubbles, tap it, push up on the syringe if I need to. Now I already have my biohazard bag labels. I'm going to insert it here and make sure it's nice and sealed and. I'll go ahead and send that off to lab. When I leave, make sure the patient has his call light, everything's comfortable for the patient, and um, deglove, wash my hands, and go ahead and exit the room.